The California Highway Patrol says electronic data pulled from the Hart's SUV is helping piece together the family's final tragic moments. Preliminary information shows the SUV pulled off Highway 1, stopping on a dirt turnaround about 70 feet from the cliff's edge. Police say the vehicle then accelerated, plunging straight into the Pacific Ocean. There were no skid marks found on the scene or signs the driver tried to break. Authorities describe the SUV's speedometer as pinned at 90 miles per hour, but investigators say that number could have been caused by the impact of the crash. Late last week, investigators searched Sarah and Jennifer Hart's home in Woodland, Washington, where they had recently moved with their six adopted children. Authorities say no suicide note was found. They portray this happy little family. But neighbors yeah. like Dana DeKalb yeah. say there were signs of trouble, prompting her to call Child Protective Services. Their daughter's telling us, please, 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 begging us not to make her go back and that they are abusing her. In 2011, when the family lived in Minnesota, Sarah Hart pleaded guilty to domestic assault. According to court documents, she admitted she bent her six-year-old daughter over a bathtub and hit her on the backside. There was no question as to how completely loved and adored those children were. Zippy Lomax met the family in 2012 and said she is shocked by allegations of abuse. None of that lines up with the people that we all knew. It's really hard to imagine. Child Protective Services visited the family home at least three times in the days before the crash but never saw the hearts. Investigators say they have written search warrants for the couple's cell phones and bank records. As of now, they do not know why the family was in California. Vladimir Dutip, CBS News, New York.